Yo, what's up? Oh, today I'm talking about don't judge a book by its cover, the hypocrisy of modern women. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and hit the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right, don't judge a book by its cover, the hypocrisy of modern women. That's the, what I'm going to cover in this topic today. No pun intended. Cover. Book cover. Yeah. Anyways, all right. I've heard this several times that women have told me that, oh, you know, you're kind of judging a book by its cover. So this is what we're going to talk about today. Okay. So true story. As an example, I was on this website. All right. And okay, look, I, I have tried different sites, different dating apps, etc. A little bit about me. I was married before 20 years and now single two years. Okay. So that's the reason why I created this channel. Cause I was like, you know what? Shit, man. I got a lot that I learned in my marriage and a lot that I've learned after the marriage. And I've been a dating machine. And, um, part of the reason is because I was like, you know what? Um, I want to see what it's like, what the whole dating scene is like now, fast forward, right? After 20 years. And the thing is, is that it's way easier for me to date now at my age than it was in my twenties. In my first nine months of being single, I went out on over 50 first dates, first dates, not including second dates, third dates. I mean, and I can go out on multiple dates every single week if I wish. And then I was like, shit, man. I should create a YouTube channel to help guys level up their relationships with, with their LTR or their marriage or level up their dating game, especially if they're older, right? Cause there's a lot of things that you need to know in order to maintain that masculine frame and attract more beautiful women in your life. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. So don't judge a book by its cover and the hypocrisy of modern women. So, like I said, I've tried a lot of different things. And at one point I tried a sugar daddy website. So I see this woman's profile on her website. And on this particular site, the woman can see that you like viewed their profile or favorited, favorited them. Okay. So I viewed her profile. I didn't favor her favorite her profile. Well, she saw that I viewed her profile and she messages me. I skipped over her profile and didn't message her or didn't favor, favorite her because I noticed she'd been on the site for five years. That's a red flag, especially in that context, like in a sugar daddy, sugar baby kind of context. And this chick has been a sugar baby for five years. That is fucking bad news. Okay. If you want me to check out my video on sugar daddies and sugar babies, I did a whole video on that. You can see it on my channel. And I'll actually, I'll po post a link in the description if you're interested to see that. So <clears throat> she messages me and she's like, hey, you seem interesting. I'd like to get to know you, something like this. So I respond to her and I say, hey, look, I don't think it's a fit, but I wish you all the best. So then she responds. She's like, well, why do you not think it's a fit? And I said, well, because you've been on the site for five years. And she, I, I got two things I'm going to comment in a moment. So then she goes, well, you're just judging a book by, it, by its cover and you shouldn't do that. Like you're missing out on opportunities. And I'm thinking, hold, hold on a second. Women are the worst for judging a book by its cover. And I'll give you a bunch of examples. Okay. So <laughs> right? like I, I've been on dates with women and they have said, oh, if a guy picks me up in a shitty car, like a car that's worse than what I had drive. It's not going to work. Or, you know, if his car isn't, isn't immaculately clean, which I think you guys should always clean your car before you pick up a woman, then I'm out. Or somebody walks into a coffee shop and they look all scraggly. Some could maybe mis, uh, misjudge them as being homeless. Like we all judge a book by its cover. And the thing is, okay, here's the best example. You go into a bookstore. If the book is this thick versus this thick, 
you're you're like, well, I know nothing about the book, but shit, that's a lot of content. It must be good compared to this thin thing. That's what I mean, man. So the thing is, is that modern women judge all the time. And, and they will even judge you, man, because you're shorter. They're like, you know what? He's not even six feet. And by the way, only 15% of men in North America are six feet or taller. So they're the worst for judging. They're like, next, 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 next. And then they're, they're now in their, their 30s, their 40s. They're crying. Oh, I can't find a man. Oh. Well, you know what, honey? Men are coming along in your life consistently, all the time. Good guys. But you're judging a book by its cover, and you're dismissing them for very, very superficial reasons, okay? Yes, men do the same thing, but women are the masters at judging books by its cover, right? So I'm just, I'm just stunned that that's, that's the reality we're living in, to, in right now. So just remember that, man. Like, you know, at the end of the day, um, I heard one YouTuber, he said this, and, and it was so true. He's like, it's really hard to sleep with women. The amount of effort us guys have to do and dates, time, money in order to have sex is a lot. A woman has to do very little to have sex. In fact, pretty much nothing. And I'll give you an example. A college study, I don't know the data when the study was done, but it's true, you can research it. A college study at a college campus, right, has a good looking guy and a good looking woman, right? They approach people with the same question, basically, hi, do you want to have sex with me tonight? Something like this. Same question, both people. How many times do you think the guy was successful in a woman wanting to sleep with him that night? Just take a guess. Zero. He had a zero success rate of women wanting to sleep with him when he first approached them and said, do you want to have sex? The woman, on the other hand, how, what success do you think she had? Right, you're probably thinking, well, all of them. Okay, not all of them. 80% success rate. So she, a woman could go up to a guy, 80% chance she'll be able to have sex if she asks for it. A guy, zero. You got to put in the work. So judging a book by its cover, <laughs> that's just the way it is, man. And listen, let me know in the comments what you think and have you been judged before unfavorably. All right, we'll see you.